All right, I'll try not to be so herky-jerky, and yeah, I still need to get a uh, tripod. I'll be honest with you, I, well, maybe I shouldn't have been surprised, but, um, I, yeah, I, yeah, I was. I was surprised that um, there seemed to be some interest in, um, like, there was comments about this game, so I was like, okay, you know what, if that's the case, because I was just going to kind of play it, I was just going to, like, I was more or less just saying, hey, this is what I'm up to. Um, I was like, okay, I'll take the plexiglass off, since I know that, um, the plexiglass can cause a lot of grief and actually I think it was just that addition of having the plexiglass I just needed to uh, flatten out part of the map so I'll just quickly go over and then I'm just going to go off and play some turns and I'll just update at some point but I kind of want to I guess get a little bit of um I'll go over uh, quickly uh, some of the exceptions of the rules here I'm going to actually uh, bring out the um, like a, the printout that I have for it so that way it can um, go over some things, especially when Charles Latour is uh, commenting about, uh, do you have to attack uh, everybody in the um, in adjacent enemy zones of control or whatever? And it seems like you uh, do. And there's all kinds of other little, um, <clears throat> excuse me, exceptions that I'm going to have to make sure that I um, uh, keep off to the side. But one thing I was, uh, I did mention in one of the comments, or maybe it was in the video, that um, I am starting to clue in that the modified fire and movement system, ironically, I found out, I'm not sure if it was uh, World War I derived, like it was around that time, but it was certainly, it was certainly used back then. Uh, the fire and movement system uh, was a, uh, a term coined by the Brits. Uh, well, they were using it in World War I. I just find that ironic that Decision Games named a a combat system designed for World War II based on that and then they modified <laughs> I just think it's neat but anyways this yeah this is a different um, way of doing the bombardment than I'm used to from the Tannenberg one and I think also uh, from the Vimy Ridge it's been a long time since I've, I, I took a look at that one um, so the, the the neat thing is with the bombardment yep there's a line of sight uh, the British well I'll go over it uh, quickly here yeah it's the best way to do it um, and then, uh, you know, I'll just, uh, I'll just take a look. So it was, uh, I think, yeah, I did the, um, I, I think I did the, uh, um, let's be honest, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to make a bazillion mistakes. Um, I think I did a, the setup, right? The Germans were supposed to, uh, have everybody, uh, they had to have, uh, all, uh, the frontline sector, that red line there is, um, uh, the British front line sector and that all of it had to be in an enemy zone of control, the Germans enemy zone of controls, which I've done. The Germans are not allowed to stack um, at this point. I do believe they're allowed to stack later, but just like the British are only allowed to stack um, um, similar. So I guess uh, the same, like to make up a brigade or whatever. So you're not allowed to, just put anybody together and if they're not listed um, as uh, if they're, they don't have an identification marker they're not allowed to be stacked. Another interesting thing I'm going to find out about later is there seems to be almost like this micro movement within it. Well I'll go take a look at in the sense that it is stacking in a sense that yeah there is stacking involved for the British and yet again like I was saying you can't uh, just put anybody together like you have to have uh, this like the same brigade has to be stacked together. But it's uh, in the combat. It seems to be that uh, the top counter is considered the front line, and the bottom counter is considered the reserve. And the reserve moves uh, can move during the move mobile uh, movement phase. Like I said, this isn't a a, um, a modification of the World War II thing. And there's not uh, normally there isn't a mobile movement phase in uh, the World War One thing. But uh, this guy uh, or this designer, uh, Chris. It. Uh, Chris Perello. Here, I'll show you there. Sorry about the shadows. I'll try to get away from the uh, whatever. So there you go. And I'll just take a quick look. Like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole uh, whatever, but uh, I'll try to try to give you some a little bits. And it looks like gas can only be used by the Brits at the first turn. Uh, so that'll be interesting to do. Uh, yep, uh, the German regiments, it says, are our three step uh, units. The full strength side of the regimental counter represents the three steps step strength the reserve side represents the two step strength and then the one step strength uh, you remove the re regimental counter and replace it with a German replacement battalion and there's also these uh, here I'll um, hold on I'll 
Oops. I'll move my little uh, lazy general here so you can see the uh, and there's some of these special ones here. So these guys are uh, would be straight up replacement um, ones. They don't have a so that's the front part of the counter and they don't have anything. Uh, and they're put in the dead pile kind of thing and can be used right off the bat. And as far as I know, when I go to, and they're, um, you can keep replacing, um, what do they call these, regiments? You can keep replacing regiments, I do believe, uh, the Germans can, uh, from their entry points here, um, the three entry spots. Uh, well, there's one, two, and then the third one over there in La Basse. Um, speaking of which, that's an instant, so there's two ways of, yeah, I know, I'm going all over the place here. So there's two ways of winning. Uh, there's instant win for both sides, and then there's uh, the amount of towns uh, taken over. And to be considered uh, taking over uh, towns, you have to have all the town hexes. So obviously uh, Saint Laurent would be great to have, but uh, you got to get through the second line, uh, second German line. So that's a far, far away to go. And um, as far and uh, yeah, and there's Luss there and whatnot. Um, so that's. So and the, so the instant victory for the British is if they have anybody at any time in any of the three one of the three uh, reinforcement entry spots. So any of the Iron Crosses, if they can get somebody in any one of them, boom, they win right off the bat. And as far as I know, for the Germans, it's. If they get, oh, it's, it's at zero hour or something. If all the British are only um, along their front lines or whatever, they can't, they haven't made any progress. And then after that, it's um, the most towns. And I think it's, um, here, it's, uh, I'll pop on over here. So it's, uh, oh yeah. gosh almighty. Um, there you go. Uh, draw historical result two or more British victory blah blah blah. Okay, so there we go and then uh, So there's other interesting things to see yeah defenders may not retreat from a bombardment They must take the step loss instead um, Displacement uh, I'll have to find out it's been a while. I guess obviously that's from uh, When you have to retreat and you may have to bit for overstacking I would assume uh, um, a unit unable to retreat without displacing another unit may stand fast and uh, must stand fast and take the step loss. Advance after combat. This one I thought was interesting. An advance may be made into the vacated defender's hex or any vac vacant hex adjacent to the vacated defender's hex. I thought that was neat. Um, um, bombardment for the Germans can only uh, uh, occur on the front line. Uh, I know that you have to roll a... Um, uh, a die here, I think it's artillery track, it'll tell you um, how many uh, dice to roll and then that number you look up on the CRT uh, and that will determine. So I think, I guess at the very first on, on which would make sense, I think the, um, sorry, I think the uh, number 20 there, as far as I know, the top number is the turn, the middle value is the number of artillery counters received and the number is the artillery factor die roll. So I guess they get... Uh, I don't know how that, so I guess uh, they are allowed to put 20 counters around or so, I'll, I'll, like I said, yeah, again, I'll find out. And there's line of sight, the uh, the airplane for the Brits, they can use line of sight and it's for any, on the hex, they can put it anywhere on the map. And it's also the adjacent hexes, because um, they're not allowed to, um, I think it's also four hexes out for line of, uh, line of sight from a, um, from a unit. So and so forth. It looks like the uh, they are incorporating the historical bits and the fact that uh, from the British perspective, it looks like um, they couldn't see very far. Um, and then on the flip side, the Germans uh, from the high ground. And remember, there's not much high ground in a sense. Uh, mind you, there is. I keep seeing these pictures. I'm gonna have to go and look it up later to see where they are. There's a thing. I don't know if they're like two slag heaps or giant slag heaps, but there's. Uh, so there's two giant pyramids around this area thing. It just looks fun. Just oh, it just looks so cool. So I would like to take a look at that. Um, so that's it, and, and I'm just gonna go on from there, and uh, we'll see how um, see how things develop. And uh, uh, oh yeah, and the Germans are not allowed to attack into the front line. And yeah, you know, as per expected, this is just going to be um, you know defense. Get back and see. Um, I guess hold on and. and hit them a little bit at the time uh, um yeah and it'll be neat to see how uh it's only the gas is only used for the first term which makes sense 
I know that they had uh, the Brits from what I've been reading. Um, they were even doing things such as uh, using smoke after because they didn't have enough gas. So they were hoping to God that the uh, the Germans would kind of um, think that uh, the smoke was gas still and, and, and remain, um, you know, hunkered down kind of thing. Because they, they knew they were going to run out big time. They had no choice. But uh, all right, that's it. I'll let, uh, I'll let you guys go and I'll let you... Um, I'll let you know how how it goes on. Okay, see ya. Bye.